Hi, I'm Dr Susie. A lot of people are struggling at the moment with the lockdown, me included because I'm at home alone. So we know that we need to stay at home but we also need to cope at home. So these are my top tips for doing that. We all have various core needs and I would suggest that these come under four categories. Chores, occupation, physical and entertainment. What you need to do is to take these headings and make a list, list activities, things that are actually doable under those categories and then schedule them in. Make sure you do one from each, ca each category every day. So like I might think, oh, have I done my C today? Have I done my O today? So for example, chores, well, you know, we know what those are. They're gonna be housework, laundry, shopping. Could be your online shopping, of course. Um, or trying to get online, if anyone's having the same experience as me. Um, but they're basic chores, things that we need to do in our everyday life. Or perhaps we have some people to do them for us if we're lucky and they can't come in to help. So thing, little things that we can do every day to keep the place neat and clean and tidy. Secondly, occupation. Now, of course, this could be your work. If you are employed and you're able to work from home at the moment, that is your work uh, that, that you're doing. Um, others, you could volunteer to help people to do something and we've seen an awful lot of that at this time with people who have been absolutely wonderful in helping and volunteering to help others. If you don't volunteer and if you don't have any actual work for people who are retired or unemployed or at home with children, find a project and you can involve the children in this. Find a project. That could be clearing something out. Clear out that garage that you know, you've been meaning to do for so long. Clear out the cupboards, clean up a room. Paint or fix things. Have a look around the house and see what, what, what you could be doing. Because you can get all sorts of things online at the moment. Uh, you could, uh, your garden could be a project. And that could be if you have a garden at, you know, to be outside, to get some fresh air. But also you could do some inside. Start a little herb garden on your on your windowsill. Um, right, polish the brass, that's another thing I found. I went round my house and found I had a bit of brass actually and it was all looking very murky. So things like that. Think of the activities. Your activities will be different to mine, so it's important to make a list. Helpful actually if you make them with someone. You can do this online with a friend or a family member. Just think of things because two, uh, two, two heads are better than one in, in terms of coming up with ideas. Occupation can also involve some kind of mental agility. So think of doing puzzles, crosswords, jigsaws, sudoku, this kind of thing. Another uh, activity could be to research and plan something. What is it you've always wanted to learn? Do you want to learn chess? Do you want to learn a language? Get online and see what's available. Uh, finally, cooking, baking. Some of us, you know, we lead so many busy lives, such busy lives that we don't do that anymore. I know I don't. It's easier to buy some bread or easier to buy a cake. So if you can get some basic ingredients, then make something, cook something. Set yourself the cookery challenge to see what you can do with the ingredients that are in your cupboard. The next one, the P in COPE, is physical. And this involves physical and mental health. So we know the government's telling us to exercise to go and to, uh, add, but you can exercise both in and outside of the house. If you're out, you can go for a walk, you can go for a run, cycle, but if you're in the house or if you're struggling, run up and down the stairs or stand and do some star jumps. If you're older, then just do stretches, but do some form of exercise. Gardening can be a very good exercise if this is kind of involves some kind of strenuous stretching, lifting, that kind of thing, but of course be very careful. Um, so some of these categories are not necessarily, they're not mutually exclusive. And of course online, there's loads online at the moment that you know that, that you can you can engage in live exercise aerobics light stretch you can download things look at pilates yoga stretch find what really works for you now this is a good time to do that meditation that's really really great and central control central control is something that i developed it's about uh, re it's a relaxation 
uh, with breathing control and mindful um, and, and it includes an aspect of mindfulness and you could download that free of charge from my website there www.psychology-services.uk.com the last um, letter in COPE stands for entertainment. Right, so we're all learning how to download various uh, Skype and uh, we're using FaceTime and the new one, Zoom, are great for, is great for a whole group of people. So set these up with friends and family. You know, if you're not good with computers, there's the good old phone. Don't be shy to phone somebody to check that they're okay and don't be shy if you're not okay if you're old you're not intruding in people's lives right now reach out and phone us um, entertainment involves shared activities and these can be done at a distance for example if you have learned chess practice with someone start to do chess with someone you can do one move a day you can have a coffee call, a beer call, a wine call, just as if you were going to the pub or bar with somebody, but you call them with your coffee or with your wine and your crisps or peanuts and you have a chit chat with them. Um, the other thing you can do with a shared activity is have start a book club or a movie club. If you can't get hold of the books, then a movie club is really good. You set a movie that you, you and your friends are going to watch and then you have a set of questions that you will discuss afterwards. What did you think of the main character? Who might have been better to play it? That kind of thing. Uh, you can ask me, send me notes about this and I can suggest more ideas if you're interested in that. Next it, it, you need to engage in structured activities. So this is good at home if there's a, a family or group of you. Play charades, have a games night, play Monopoly. Don't be in your rooms all the time just on your Xbox on your own. This is about entertainment, it's about engagement. And of course, you can do some Xbox, but it needs to be, you know, balanced. So another thing would be moving night. You all watch a movie night together. Or uh, you, if you're on your own, I like really very much having pouring a glass of wine and settling down and having movie night for me. Um, and very important at this time for those people who are alone though, I think are the like TV programmes that are like magazine style. I'm thinking of programmes like This Morning because it struck me having time to watch this a little bit more now than I ever have before. Um, that this gives friendship and companionship, the same people every day. People like Philip and Holly, they become friends. They're the, they're the people in your home. And I know that with, with my mother, uh, with my mum, how important that was to her to have that engagement with these people in her home every single day who became her friends. So don't forget to add in that as well. So they're not mutually exclusive. The idea is that every in the daytime, you decide... Uh, what what activities you're going to do that meet one of these needs. So make sure every day you have something from the C, chores, from the O, occupation, something from P, physical, and something from E, entertainment. Make your own list though. Your activities will be different to mine. These are just some ideas. Then, of course, the balance or the weighting of these activities will differ. Um, you know, and that's fine. Just as they do in, in, in our working lives, perhaps we have more of the O in the weekday and more of the C um, at weekends. So, uh, you know, change the weight. You know, it's okay to have the different weightings, but please do something from every single one. So finally, um, please uh, stay at home, cope at home, be safe, help the NHS. If you want to find out more about me and or to download Central Control, you can find me on my website here, www.psychology-services.uk.com. That's where you'll find Central Control. Thank you very much. I can't do a picture of myself because I can't flip this round myself when I'm recording it. But take care and be safe.